Hello and welcome. In this short video, we're going to talk about the iOS um, navigation modes. Okay, so uh, let's get started. As you can see, I'm going to go to uh, the router and uh, click on the router here. So, and then uh, as you can see, uh, the CLI command line. This is the router command line. And after that, we're going to hit enter. So uh, we are in this mode, as you can see, we have router and the greater than sign. So uh, in this prompt right here, this is called user exec mode. So it's called user, user exec mode, okay? And in this mode, basically, as you can see, we can hit question mark to see what are the available commands. And basically in this mode, we are limited to a couple of commands, as you can see. Okay, like connect, disable, disconnect, enable, and some troubleshooting commands and telnet and the trace route. So that's it. Okay, so we cannot change the configuration whatsoever. Uh, to be able to uh, go to next mode, it's called the privilege mode. So to be in the privilege mode, we need to type enable, as you can see here. So I can type just enough characters for the command. Uh, for the iOS to distinguish and then as you can see if I hit question mark in here we have only one command that starts with EN which is enable and then I can actually use command sensitive help by hitting the um, the tab on the keyboard to complete the command for me command completion so as you can see we can use the enable and then I can actually hit enter right here. Notice that the um, the uh, prompt has changed from greater than sign to the pound sign or the hashtag, router hashtag, and this is called user, this is called user privilege mode or the privilege mode, okay? This is called user privilege or privilege mode basically, okay? So privilege, privilege mode, okay? And we have more privileges, but we still cannot change, okay, configuration on this router here in this mode, okay? So um, let me check what are the available commands. We can hit, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we can hit the question mark to see what are the available commands. So we have more commands than before than in the user exec mode, but we still cannot do configuration or anything. So uh, we have uh, the show commands, as you can see, we can use the show commands. We can SSH to remote uh, to uh, another device. We can use trace route for troubleshooting. We can telnet to another device. We could disable, delete, clear. Uh, we could actually um, use the, we could copy running configuration to startup config and so on and so forth, but we cannot change the configuration. So in order to change configuration, we need to be in a global configuration mode. And to be in global configuration mode, we need to type configure terminal. Okay, we need to go type configure terminal. So I'm going to type enough characters con, okay, and then hit the question mark without space. Notice that we have two commands that start with con. Okay, so we need to be uh, more specific so we need to tell the iOS that we are looking after the config not configure not connect okay and then we could actually use space and then question mark okay notice we have terminal and we have CR CR stands for carriage return which means hit enter okay and the terminal will take us to the global okay configuration mode Notice that the prompt has changed from the router and pound symbol to router between parentheses config and then the pound symbol. And this is called global configuration mode. So it's global, global config mode. Okay. So in this mode, we could pretty much do everything. We can change everything. For example, we can change host name. I'm going to just use host. Okay. Uh, notice that our all the commands are uh, alphabetically ordered so I can just if I I'm, I'm looking after the uh, command starts with H to change the host name as you can see it's right here okay so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do if you see more you could hit control C to interrupt the uh, the, uh, the window and go back to the global config mode or you could 
hit the space bar on the keyboard to scroll okay between the um the uh the commands okay so uh, let's see i want to change the host name i can change the host name to r1 for example okay and notice that the host name has changed immediately right here you can actually go to sub modes okay so there are primary modes the primary modes are the user exec and the privilege mode and the global configuration mode those are primary modes and then we have sub okay sub modes for example the interface let's say let's check what interfaces we have uh, notice if i do uh the show show ip in interface brief it didn't actually it will turn in invalid input okay right here which means i'm not in the right mode to do the show command so i need to be in either in uh, a privilege mode okay by hitting control z to go to privilege mode like this and then show ip interface brief okay or in a global config mode what i can do i can uh, use the show ip interface brief but I need to insert the do. So inserting the do in the beginning of the line, we could actually use control A to go to the beginning of the line and then insert do to force the command to work in a global configuration mode. And notice what's happened. Okay, we have a couple of interfaces. So uh, let's go to the interface connecting the router to the switch. You can hover the mouse over the interface to check what interface is this. As you can see, the interface is gig00, so, okay. So I can go to interface mode by typing interface. We could type just enough characters and then use command completion. If we have more commands that start with INT, then we need to uh, give more to be more specific or give, give enough characters to the iOS to distinguish between those commands and then interface gig0 slash zero, okay. We could use gig and then tab, hit the tab uh, for command completion, and then gig zero slash zero. Just want to mention one thing here. I can ask the router at any point, okay, to see what is the available command. So as you can see, it's telling me, okay, type zero uh, number from zero to nine. So I'm typing a number and then question mark. Uh, the router tells me you need to type, okay, forward slash and then Okay, another question mark, it tells me, okay, is zero to 24. So the first zero is the slot number. The router basically have a couple of uh, slots. Notice that if we go to physical mode right here, so slot number one, let's uh, actually zoom um, right here so we can uh, zoom in. Okay, so slot number one, this is the slot number one, and the slot could have multiple interfaces in here. Slot number zero slot one slot two slot three that's the first number that we type in the command line and then the second number in here it's the port number so slot number zero and then the port number zero from zero to 24 so this switch is actually or this router have a couple of interfaces so um yeah so uh slot number and then the port number so if i hit enter right now i'm in the interface mode and notice that the uh, prompt has changed from um r1 between parentheses config to r1 between parentheses config dash if which means um and the interface mode okay so uh while i'm in a in a under the interface mode i could actually uh, hit question mark to see what commands are available to me for example let's say i'm looking for commands that start with ip because i want to configure an ip address on this device i'm going to type ip and then space question mark and the router tells me okay are you looking at um after the ip access group uh, ip address so i'm looking at at uh, the ip address okay IP address and then we could actually the router tells me okay type the uh, IP address 24 bits okay separated by dots okay as you can see the IPv4 is uh, four octets separated by dots I can type for example 192.168.1.1 space then question mark it tells me hey you need to type your subnet mask and subnet mask in this symbol we could use for example 255.255.255.255 
24 mask and then we could bring the interface up with no shutdown no basically negate every command so the command basically that we have under the if i do for example uh, question mark in here notice that we have shutdown and as i mentioned the commands are alphabetically ordered so shutdown is right here to uh, bring the interface down but if i use the no i'm gonna neg negate the shutdown which means the opposite of shutdown to bring the interface up no shutdown notice i get a message that the interface okay good zero zero is up and running okay that's the interface mode we could actually switch between modes okay or sub modes for example let's say i want to configure the line console zero line console zero okay um the command completion basically doesn't work right here because i'm not in the right mode i can go back to global config mode by typing by hitting Control c to go to privilege mode and then type configure terminal or we could actually go to um sorry we could go to uh for example uh, end to go back uh actually to go back to the uh to the privilege mode and then do the same so end control c control z they all actually take you back to the privilege mode and then you type config terminal okay to be in global configuration mode i can go to line console zero okay notice that i don't need to finish the command i need just to type enough characters line con zero because we don't have okay um more commands that start with con in this mode so line console zero and then i'm in line console mode notice that the prompt has changed from r1 okay between parentheses okay uh config to dash line which means i'm in line mode those are all sub modes i can change between the modes between line from line console which uh, is actually if i want to configure the, the the console connection okay set password and secure the line console for example i can switch to line uh, vty okay line vty from this mode zero to four so uh, basically we have 15 or 16 sessions okay so uh, 16 users they could connect simultaneously to the same router or a switch okay so uh i'm notice that i'm switching from line console mode okay to line vty mode and in this mode we can actually configure the telnet and sh uh, connections okay so uh, i could do it also um uh, from let's say i'm in interface mode like this and then i want to go to line mode i could just use line call zero or line vty024 okay so um yeah to to uh to actually wrap up things that we have been uh that we learned so far in uh, cisco ios navigation modes so question mark is your friend at any okay uh, at any mode you could actually type question mark to see what are the available commands uh, the commands are alphabetically ordered, so you could actually look for the command, uh, for example, let's say I want to configure a password here, okay, I'm going to type the password and then, okay, space question mark again, it will tell me, okay, what type of password you want to use, you want to use type 7 or just line, which means an encrypted or clear text password, let's say password Cisco, and then space question mark, carriage return or cr means enter just hit enter in, in the, on the keyboard there are no available commands there are no more uh, commands and so on and so forth and that's it so and you could use command completion for example pa and then hit the tab on the keyboard to complete the command for you and then space okay and the question mark if you have more uh basically as i mentioned earlier you have more commands that start with con we could actually without space we could hit question mark in here and see what are the commands that start with con so we could type just f and an f so uh, to tell the ios okay we are after configured not connect and then space and then question mark to see what is next available command to us
So that's it for um, today. Uh, I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.